The fact that Yang Wenzhou gets beaten causes a great stir in the Night Temple. The high-powered ones of the Night Temple are furious, especially Han Xian, the head of the Night, who is pissed off with blue veins standing out on his temples. The grandson of Yang Haohen, also known as the Most Hopeful Knight, got beaten to a pulp with his lung pierced through. Such blatant provocation can be regarded as a declaration of war against the Night Temple. What enrages Han Xian is that those who injured Yang Haohen are from the Assassin Temple, which has been friendly with the Night Temple for generations. Congested with anger, Han Qian comes at Ying Sui Feng, deputy head of the Assassin Temple, to ask the latter for an explanation. The anger look of Han Qian tells Ying Sui Feng what he's here for. A complicated and self-conscious look surprisingly appears on his poker face. Those who beat Yang Haohen down are indeed among us. I'm deeply sorry for this. As he spoke, Ying Sui Feng cups his hands in front of Han Qian to show his apology. Hearing this, Han Qian does a double take, and the anger on his face is mostly replaced by doubt. He and Ying Suifeng are old friends for many years. And the latter is a known proud man. He doesn't expect that Ying Suifeng would humble himself and apologize to the Night Temple. Is the assassin such a big shot that he can let Ying Suifeng make such sacrifice? So it's true, asks Han Qian. He couldn't figure out why the assassin temple, which has a good relationship with the Night Temple, would turn against them. Ying Suifeng sighs when he knows that his old friend is asking for an explanation. He explains, did Yang Wenzhou hurt another knight in yesterday's competition and injured him severely? Hearing Ying Suifeng's words, Han Qian slaps the table and stands up to his feet. A horrible and unacceptable idea grows in his mind. Was it Long Haochen who bought the murderer? Han Qian asks in a slightly trembling voice. He thinks highly of Long Haochen and even arranges Han Yu, his grandson, to be Long Haochen's retinue knight. If Long Haochen is the culprit, this is undoubtedly a violation of the knight principle. They will not only be severely punished, but also expelled from the Night Temple. Ying Suifeng is taken by surprise at Han Qian's reaction. He didn't expect Han Qian to value Long Haochen this much. The idea of meeting this young man is getting appealing. He wants to see what kind of magic this young man has to not only impress Han Qian, who has high vision, but also make Chire lose her composure for him. Ying Suifeng shakes his head and rejects Han Qian's guess. How can a little guy who is unconscious by murderers? Then he explains the reason saying that a member of the Assassin Temple, who's close to Long Haochen, made such a move after learning that Long Haochen was seriously injured by Yang Wenzhou. Hearing this, Han Qian sits back in his seat relieved. If that's the case, it's not a big deal to fight for friendship. The whole thing can be over as long as the perpetrator is brought to trial in the Night Temple to appease the anger of Elder Yang. When his eyes are fixed on Ying Suifeng's gloomy face, Han Qian can't help frowning. Don't these people know Yang Wenzhou's background? Don't they know the serious consequences? Before Han Qian asks, Ying Suifeng apologizes again. Han, I'm sorry for this. Then he adds resignedly. The perpetrator is not someone I and even the Lord can deal with. On hearing this, Han Qian gets up angrily, about to lose his temper. Ying Suifeng adds immediately, Han, don't get angry. To express our sincere apology, we are willing to tell your temple about the secret of ours. At this time, Han Qian is confused. He can't understand what the old friend is up to. What is the relationship between the perpetrator and the secret? Ying Suifeng figures out what Han Qian wonders. He put his thoughts together, and with incomparable solemnity, in his tone, said to Han Qian, The perpetrator who injured Yang Wenzhou is the only one with the reincarnation body, of more than 90% inborn spiritual power in our temple for 3,000 years. His short words are just like a thunder on the ground. The anger and suspicion on Han Qian's resolute face dissipates little by little, replaced by shock and amazement. Reincarnation body is something that only exists in the legend, like the sun of light in the Knight's Temple. Of so many talents, few can reach this level. Reincarnation body has been extinct for 3,000 years. Unexpectedly, the Assassin Temple has produced such an amazing genius. This is amazing. While Han Qian is still in shock, Ying Suifeng continues. We, the reincarnation body's innate spiritual power has risen from 93 to 100, as the result of inheritance from the weapon of the Son of Reincarnation. With a loud bang, another thunder burst in Han Qian's ear. His eyes are wide open, and his lips are already trembling. Innate spiritual power, 100, this, well. The shock has made it hard for Han Qian to articulate properly. At this moment, his confusion about the Assassin Temple has been completely dispersed. This is a reincarnation body full of spiritual power, unprecedented in the six holy temples. This explains why the Assassin Temple is so indulgent with him. Even this arrogant deputy head of the temple is willing to humble himself and apologize to the Night Temple. A younger generation with such talent is not only the hope of the future of the Assassin Temple, but also the precious wealth of the whole human race against the demons. After a long while, Han Qian takes a deep breath. He says to his old friend who has a bitter smile, I see. Long Haochen doesn't know what's happening outside. 
He just wakes up from his sleep. After a night's sleep and getting the spiritual power from Chire, Long Haochen is in a better condition. A healthy complexion comes back to his face. Last night, his consciousness was in a void as he was too weak. He seemed to see Chire's beautiful face in a daze, but he was not sure. When his eyes fall on the edge of the bed, Long Haochen can only feel his heart beating uncontrollably. You are so injured, so focus on the recovering and don't worry about me. We'll meet when the final starts. See these neat and elegant handwriting and Chire's signature, Long Haochen feels overwhelmingly emotional. He knows that everything happened yesterday is true, and Chire really forgives him. The extreme happiness makes Long Haochen's body shake. In the next few days, Long Haochen seems to be bathed in happiness. His handsome face is full of pleasure. The inner joy also makes Long Haochen progress quickly. Like a silkworm chrysalis undergoing nirvana and rebirth, he not only consolidates the level 5 knight's realm, but also fills the liquid spiritual power in his body several times. Long Haochen has adjusted his body to the best state with his cultivation these days. He's waiting for the day of the final draw and the day to meet Chire again.